ladies and gentlemen, we have now landed. Let's get to the National Airport, which means today. It is now 1 p.m. The outside temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. We are on the way to Phao Tao Bay. Wow. First time? Phao. Bintan Market We're at the dock, ready to get on the boat and go check out the floating market. Also, I think we might go see about how they're processing rice. The thing about this area, we've got we've got people, you know, just living on the water in every way, shape, and form. It's one of my favorite places to come. I haven't been back for about two years, and this time we got a group of people that are gonna check it out for the first time. So it's a lot of fun. Super Dong. Yes, the Super Dong is the name of the boat. Get on that, we have like a two hour ferry, we get all the way over to Fukuo. And of course, part of our fish sauce odyssey is to find out the nuances, the way that it's made, the deliciousness of Fukuo Nook Mom Ni.
Okay, so now we are third person. Third. Still not bad. It depends on how you started with. Did you start with a good barrel? Some day, some, sometimes we got like bad. Yeah. Then you just get rid throw of it. Away. Not throw away. We sell it. What you know, you blend with the other thing. What could, what could make it go bad? The fish, the way they salt it. But before, but now we're getting very good at that. Yeah. If you're not enough salt, that is, might kill you. Is there anything that could just make the whole Thicker. barrel? I know it's a lot of salt, but is there anything that could just ruin a whole batch? Yeah. If the water leaks in there, get in there, then it's ruined. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, then you still let the squid. <laughs> <laughs> You don't say that about a carrot, you don't say it about a chicken, right. there's different qualities. There's nothing wrong with the 25 degree fish sauce, it's just, it doesn't have that. Oh. So let's try the one with 10 months, when it's not quite ready. Okay. So, see that color? Yeah. This is 10 months. All right, so it's, it smells almost more, I don't say acidic, but it smells sharper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a sense. Right. It's less subtle than the other one. So that's why we decide 12 months is an optimal. It's still number. really good though. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's not to me, I don't know if warm's a flavor, mm -hmm. but I find as things age and as they ferment, right. they get more rounded mm -hmm. as opposed to this. It, it's, it's, it's still good, but it's got a little bit more, okay, here's the salt, here's the this, where that one's like, mm -hmm. Yep. Nook Mam Moi, I guess mm -hmm. what it would be. And we have the spring onions, the, the white part, the harder part. We also have the chili, the garlic, and the tew, the black pepper. The green part of the spring onion, right here, is what I'll use to finish it with. They didn't bring the, the spare bottle. So these are the local mushrooms that are only here, is it sometimes of the year, Kung? Yeah. Uh, and one one trait about them, which he okay, said is a good thing, is that they're bitter. I mean, if you think about our tongue, we get five tastes, right? Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. Fish sauce is all about the umami. We have sweet from the tomato, right? Um, bitter is going to come from this. So bitter is a good thing in moderation. So I'm looking at, okay, I got that much chicken, this much mushrooms. By no means am I putting all these mushrooms in like that. But I think for what I have, not that much will be good. Tomatoes, mushrooms, spring onions, marinated chicken. So we're, we're uh, using two kitchens here, back and forth. One up there in the hotel's kitchen. The other one is set up down by the ocean. Okay, let's get cooking. <clears throat> okay, so we're cooking a, what I like to call combat cooking, fighting a battle. So I'm figuring out what I can do, where I can do it, and how I can do it. But that's kind of being a chef, I was figuring stuff out. So I've got the chicken which is marinated in the fish salt, uh, the garlic, the chili, the black pepper, 
I'm gonna brown this off first. I'll do it in a couple batches. And this thing's roaring hot, it's fantastic. I didn't expect it to be so efficient. What's that? Right? But not too rich, not too intense, light in flavor. So I want to get some browning, but I don't need it to be dark brown. There we go. And once the chicken's out, then I'll start building these other layers of flavor. I'll add the onions to it, um, brown those a little bit, then add the, um, I think the tomatoes, the natural oil, raise that for a while. Cook cook is near paradise. I'm cooking uh, this chicken, which is simmered with the red boat uh, fish salt to season. Then we have the fish sauce, the mushrooms, which are local, bitter, but in a good way, as I say. The tomatoes, the onions. That first half of chicken is brown. Which is gonna give it that beautiful color. Oh, Chicken's going back in. Wow. Before I add any liquid, I like to um, cook the chicken for a little bit because then it seems to penetrate it better and give it better color. At that stage, at this stage, I'll add some of the stock. This is for, made from the bone from the chicken. Mm, quantity. I'm going to hold for a second. Actually, I'm going to save a few of them whole. Not whole. Save a few of them that are not going to get cooked in here. Scrape off the bottom little brown bits. As we say in the French uh, cooking word, fun. As we say here, just non lam. Like really delicious. So, put this back over the hottest part of the grill. And bring that up to a boil. And we'll just simmer this. At the end, we'll add the, uh, some of the mushrooms, the spring onions, and the rest of the tomatoes. Uh, I'm gonna, once it comes up to a boil, then I'll taste it and see if I wanna add a little bit of fish sauce to it as it's cooking. Oh, you guys got oil! Where's the lime? Salty? Not salty. Say it's just savory. It needs a little bit of rounding, so I'm adding some local palm sugar, right? So I can just break it to pieces. That's cool. The palm sugar right here, you can just break it first. It's a very famous cooking in So I'm going to go light. I think just that. And then I'm going to add some of the, the tomatoes, so those ones are more whole. A little splash of fish sauce. And this is the 50N, right? The, the nectar. Ooh, 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 ooh. So thick. Delicioso. Really good. Okay. 